What's going on guys? So we are out getting ready for the fall. We got a couple, well, we got a lot of muzzleloader tags this year. Me and my father are out right now shooting uh, our good buddy Hunter Rackley's muzzleloader as, lo as well as the one we're going to use this year. Um, we just uh, both got new scopes this year, new triggers. We uh, ended up putting the Timony Calvin Elite triggers on these muzzle loaders, and then topped them with uh, a Vortex PST uh, 6 to 24 by 50. So we're out here. We just got them uh, pretty much zeroed in at 100 with a off-brand bullet. We're not going to use. I'm going to change these targets out and uh, start shooting a hunting load. Hopefully, it all works out. So. Out of their sons and fools of themselves. They're only judged by God and the fruits that they've dropped. And left there to rot, all the weeds that they grew are never ending. They slave the whole human race. Making dollars off our fate While your hands getting stained And transaction time is all we got left So count your cards and hold your breath What a fool's state of mind But hey, it's a paycheck, it's a paycheck God only So my final thought for today is don't shoot a muzzleloader. Don't put in for a muzzleloader. Save yourself the stress, the headache. My freaking arm feels like it's about to fall off. My head feels like I've been closing a car door on it all day. Um, besides for opportunity, another opportunity to get tags. These things are so freaking stubborn it's not even funny. Kind of ended up at the, at the end not cleaning the muzzleloader at all. Shooting 150 grains of powder and a 300 grain bullet like we did last year. And it shot better than it did with all the testing. So I should have just stuck with that um, and not tried to lower lower everything. We found what worked last year. We should have just stuck with that from the start. If you draw a muzzleloader tag, as soon as you draw it, start shooting it. Learn that thing because they're all different. And every little thing changes. Um, not cleaning this one. It shot better than cleaning hunters last year and it's the exact same thing so i don't know what to think about all that but it's frustrating we um, don't have a lot of time till our hunt yeah, just ran out of time life but it happens we'll make the best of it we'll know our our uh, distances and our maximum so just got to get close anyways that was it shooting a muzzleloader today i'm gonna go jump off a building now so we'll see you guys later What's up, Sam? Just driving. How are you? Yeah, we're in New Mexico now. I don't know, man. All my experience with Albuquerque is I get a growl or a beer from my buddy every time I drive through there. That's not a bad deal. Yeah. We get a growl on the way back to me, huh? Yeah, that's, that's what we're hoping for. We're going through a little late this time, so I'm going to meet up with him on the way back. And then you're probably about to. Tired of sitting, huh? Yeah, I'd rather be shuffling. My ass hurts. Yeah. Not from Kevin, from sitting on the seat. Kevin, no. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we only had to turn around once. Brittany lost her cell phone. We got out for a pee break and she left it on the truck and it flew down the interstate. Are you kidding? No. We found it. We found it though. Oh, if the phone's still good. So, we're still Instagramming. Well, if we get some service, we'll give you an update tomorrow. But uh, yeah. it's just a quick weekend of hunting and we're not going to be too picky. Sounds good, man. Well, we'll keep in touch tomorrow if we have service. Yeah, likewise. All right. We'll be safe and uh, have fun. Thanks. Good luck out there. Bye. We 
made it. The freaking endless journey. It's 1 a.m. I just feel like going out and spotlighting all night. Just keep going. Break out the Red Bull. <laughs> and a beer. But it's 1 a.m. We just got to camp. We saw Jordan at the gas station. So. Who's this guy in the shadows over here? <laughs> this is our new best friend. We've all been friends on Instagram and Facebook for a long time. Now we get to hunt together, so it's going to be good. He kills big deer. We like big deer. So, just got to get a couple hours of sleep. It's all ready to... I was just thinking with all those people. Yeah. I think we're up here. I think that's where we're at. I think that this is the hill we're climbing on. We just made it up to our glassing spot. It took us about 45 minutes to get up here through some pretty thick brush from camp. Kevin's already spotted some deer. Literally just sat down and got my tripod set up before he had to say I I got deer. He's on the phone with Chase letting him know already. But long night. Got in at midnight. Woke up at five. Excited to be deer hunting. Okay. All right. It's opening morning. Jake and I are here glassing. We got two bucks and a handful of does, both younger or smaller deer. Nothing we're willing to shoot yet. <laughs> but uh, it's thick country. It's a nice day, but we're hoping to pick up some bigger deer. It's thick enough where you never know what might walk out. So we're gonna keep at it and let you know I'll try to video this small buck. Uh, 9 a.m. Still kind of glassing the same deer. Maybe picked up another doe or two, but glassing the same buck. So Jake and I, Kevin and Brittany are right over here. They're glassing up a different buck. It's decent. Um, but we're going to meet up and we're going to hike down this ridge. So it kind of opens up a little more down the ridge. Hopefully we can get on something else. Oh. Somebody lose their SIG? It's been out here a while, it's rusty. <laughs> Looks like it's locked and loaded. Ready to go. Yeah.
Well, my condom didn't last long. That's a problem. <clears throat> Do you have more of those? Yep. <laughs> but mine won't fit over the barrel. We got ourselves in some nasty shit. And the sad part is, it's not even after a buck. It's just trying to move. The thickest shit I've ever seen. Did you get that? As I fell too. <laughs> Whacking me in the face. I'm so exhausted from this. We made it out of the jungle. Kind of down in the ponderosas, and we heard some elk bugle. We're just gonna still hunt this, and uh, it doesn't look like there's a lot of feed down here, but maybe there's feed down lower, and the deer come up in here in bed. But we're gonna work it for a mile or so, and then make a big loop back to camp. <laughs> Well, just got back to camp. We uh, had a good morning, saw quite a few deer. I don't know, eight to 10 bucks, nothing good. One four by four, that was tempting, but climbing through that brush, and you can see our arms are just destroyed. Yeah, we're good, so. Gonna have some uh, late breakfast, wait to hear. Chase is coming through right behind us. And our buddy Jordan's on his way down, so we will make a new plan here in a little bit. So we got up there to where we could glass, and the brush is like six Ooh, to seven feet tall. And yeah. I couldn't glass anything except for like the <laughs> That top. is a m <laughs> Yeah, it is. God dang, that freaking brush. Yeah. Are you getting your boo-boos fixed? Plain doctor. He looks What's like wrong, a You're taking hell out of my legs. That freaking... <laughs> That's tough. It's nasty, isn't it? It shredded my pants, my shirt. Okay. A little midday update. We uh, drove up to a different spot, another thick spot, as you can see, and we are still looking for muleys. We uh, got on some bucks this morning, and nothing we wanted to shoot first day, but moved down the road about 10 miles or so, checking some more new country, and then uh, we'll see what we can find this evening. Hopefully something decent. First evening glassing, and uh, back in the big country again, Big Burn. We just found the biggest buck so far of the trip. He's a long ways off. We got a muzzle loader <clears throat> and not much time, so watch some bed down. And now we're just glassing here close and see if we could find something else. So it's awesome country, though.
back at camp after an evening of glassing. Saw one good buck far away. Didn't want to go try and launch a bullet at him with the muzzle loader from that far. I just couldn't get close enough. If we had all day, we would have done something, but we didn't. So, we're back at camp. I'm pretty sure I just heard beers crack open. And I'm just going to get set up, get some sleep, and figure out a Hey, Brett, here's tomorrow. your beer. I just said that, too. <laughs> we got to walk out to that ridge? Do you have a radio? This home sweet home tonight? This is it. One of the best guys ever. What's going on in here? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Just trying to pull start my heater. <laughs> Did you get that line from your dad? <laughs> 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 